attending care or self-directed attending care or self-directed let's talk about it now listen may or may not know who i am but i hope you know what attendant and self-directed care is all right how you doing today my name is kc church i am the founder and the administrator of reliable aid inc what we do is we help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the medicaid long-term health care program and today you know the topic of the day is should I do self-directed care or should I do attending care? Now, what I have to ask you is, do you even know what the difference is? Because if you don't know what the difference is, it's like setting yourself up. They're going to put the banana in your tailpipe and now you're going to have to work hard to get it out. You know what I mean? You don't want that. So just to break it down for you really, really fast. Attending care is where they're going to make you the boss, which is cool because you are a boss, right? But you're actually the patient you're actually the member you're actually the one who needs to care so why would you want to have to uh boss people around if you need some help when you need help you just want help you don't want to have to work for the help right <laughs> i wouldn't want to have to work for the help so what i suggest is you tell your case manager that you want attending care and after you tell them that you want attending care because your needs have increased and you need more help around the home you tell them say look I don't want to have to keep track of my attendance hours. I don't want to have to keep track of my attendance schedule. I don't want to have to keep track of anything. I want to keep track of myself. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So look, wherever you at in the world, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast, hashtag I don't want to work. You know what I mean? Because if you're here to get, to get this good health care, in-home health care, you want somebody taking care of you. I don't want to have to uh, fill a schedule out. I don't want to have to go through payroll. I don't want to have to go through the hiring. I don't want to have to uh, get these people drug tests, all that kind of stuff. If you are the member, why would you want to do all that? That's crazy. Now, you want what's easy. You want the good stuff. You want attending care. Reliable aid Inc. is the best in the business. What we'll do, we'll set you up with your personalized case manager. I'll have her come to your house. She'll figure out the best plan of all your needs, your needs. You hear what I'm saying? Everything that you need to help you out and move forward and be prosperous during the daytime. Every day, we're going to get you up, get you ready, get you showered, get you dressed, get you ready for the world. We're going to get you rocking. And that's going to be what's called attending care because I'm going to send the attendants to your house. We're going to give the care to you. Now, isn't that awesome? Now... I don't know if you know, but the relative that you're currently taking care of may be eligible to be your attendant in this care that we want to provide for you under the state of Delaware long-term health care plan. Now, that's the key ingredient. Now, look, I know it sounds crazy because we're so used to hearing about our loved ones getting sentenced to a life at a cold stop nursing home, only be taken care of by strangers because the family members didn't have the time, money, or the resources that it takes to best be able to take care of somebody at home. Now... Everybody needs to be able to make it a living and providing care can be very time consuming, making a decent paying job just out of reach for most voluntary caregivers. So what if I was to tell you that it was possible for you to get paid for doing the work that you're already doing, caring for your loved ones? That's right. You could be an attendant who could care for your loved ones through reliable aid because what we want to do is send a person to your house. We want to take the worries out of in-home health care. We want to do it right for you. And, you know. Life isn't a dress rehearsal, so I'm thinking you're going to need it right the first time, the very first time. If that's right, and you're right, and I'm right, call me, 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. Don't forget to check me out on the podcast, anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver. Go there, I want you to download all the episodes that you can, and then listen whenever you get a chance, but download them all today. Trust me, all right? Do me that favor. Go to YouTube, check us out, like, subscribe. Yo, it's a real fun channel. We got a lot going on. A lot of, lot of videos over there. It's like the archive collection. You're going to love it, all right? Check us out. We on, uh, we on the gram. We everywhere, all over. I love you, and you my type of people because you love other people. You know what I mean? Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents or your loved ones is a bad thing. We're not into that. We're doing this to get our blessings. If you're here with me now... Hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast, hashtag your city, hashtag your state. You know, give us some thumbs, give us some wild faces, whatever you got for us. I love you. Make sure you keep up doing what you're doing, man, because you're the best kind of person, you know? All right, so talk to you tomorrow. Take it easy.